Hey, this is Rene. Welcome back to another video on this channel. And today I want to um, show you how you can activate your expert advisor in the MetaTrader 5. So I will show you two things. Uh, first of all, I will show how to integrate an expert advisor when you have the um, like the files on your PC, like the executable and or the source code. And um, the second thing that I want to show you is how you can activate a program that you purchase or that you want to test from the MQL5 web page. So let's start with a expert advisor that you have on your PC. So first of all, this is a normal MetaTrader 5. Um, everything that I explain in this video also works for the MetaTrader 4 and the steps are ex uh, completely the same. So here we have the navigator and the toolbox and the market watch. And now I will go back to my desktop and we will see that I have an expert advisor here. I have two files, in fact. Um, the first one is the moving average direction strategy .ex5. The name of your file might be different. This is just the name of the expert advisor. If you change the name, then the name in the MetaTrader 5 that is displayed will also change. This ex5 file is a executable file. And this means that this file is used to run the expert advisor. The second file is the .mq5 file, and this is the file that contains the source code. To run the expert advisor, you only need the executable file. If you want to apply changes, you will need the source code. So let's start with the executable. I can now take this, right click it and copy it. And then I go back to my MetaTrader 5 and now I have to do the following. I have to go to file in the upper left corner. I click open data folder. And then I just click on MQL5. If you're working with the M uh, MetaTrader 4, it's MQL4. And then I click on experts. And this is the folder where all the experts in this MetaTrader 5 um, uh, have to be placed. So I can go here, right click and click on paste. And you will see this file is now here in this MetaTrader 5. There is the moving average direction strategy. And once it is here, we should see it in the navigator of the MetaTrader 5. If you do not see the navigator, you can click on view navigator to open it. So here we can click on expert advisors, click on this little plus, and it will make this um, all of the expert advisors available here. So you can see that the moving average strategy should be here. Uh, unfortunately, it is not. And this is because it is not refreshed yet. So you can just right click, click on refresh, and then it should be here if you implemented the file in the folder. So you can see now it is here in this moving average direction strategy. You can find it under expert advisors. And as you can see, all of these EAs here, they are the exact same EAs that are laying in this um, experts folder. So this is just what the navigator shows us. Um, it's These are all the EX5 files that are in this folder. We can also see sub subfolders like this advisors folder and you can see the content is completely the same. Okay, so since we now have this program here, we could now run it. So to run a expert advisor from your navigator, you can just um, take the uh, expert advisor that you want to activate, take the chart that you want to run it in or the symbol and then drag and drop it onto this chart. So I can just drop it here. And now you can see in the upper right corner of the chart, we already see moving average direction strategy. Also, there uh, is a window that automatically pops up and you can see the inputs here. Or oh, there are two tabs. You can see the first tab. Um, for the first tab, it is important that you click this or that you check this allow algo trading uh, checkbox because otherwise the EA will not be allowed to place any trades or to close trades or to modif modify trades. So this is really important. And then we have the inputs here. The inputs are different um, for every expert advisor and these are inputs that the programmer defined in the source code. Here you have different variables that might affect the behavior of the program. For example, there are some inputs usually that are really easy to understand, like the lot size. And here I can just choose like 
the lot size that I want to trade with every single trade. Then we have TP and SL percent. We have the time frame that, that we want to work in. And you can adjust these settings so that the EA will work as you want it to do. If you have any questions about these inputs, you should ask the salesperson or the developer of the program to help you understand them. Often you will find resources um, or a uh, explanation if you buy this from somebody else. So when you made all the settings as you want them, then you can just click on OK in the right corner here, in the lower right corner, and then you will see the EA that is attached to this chart in the upper right corner. Also, there's another algo trading button, which is working for the whole account. And you can see it up here and you have to click it. So it is green like this in order to make your EAs do anything. Because if this is uh, red or turned off, the EAs are not allowed to open, modify or close trades. Also, you can see I have multiple charts open here. And this expert advisor is only attached to this specific chart. Usually, usually EAs are designed so they will automatically work on the underlying or the symbol of the chart that you attach the EA to. There might be uh, exceptions, but this is the case for most EAs. So you would have to activate it on multiple charts if you want to trade this strategy in multiple symbols. So I could attach it to this um, USD Japanese Yen chart also. And now you can see I'm running the strategy on both of these charts. Okay, so this is how you activate a EA. So let me remove this EA. So what I can do next is I could have a look at the source code of the program. But what happens if I open the MetaQuotes language editor? The MetaQuotes language editor is a tool that you can open clicking on tools, MetaQuotes language editor, and it is used to modify the source code of your strategies. So here you will also find a navigator on the left side. If you click on view navigator, you can open and close it. And here you will find the source code of your programs. Unfortunately, I do not find the moving average uh, direction strategy here. And this is because I did not place the source code in this folder yet. So the process is pretty much the same. So I can go either here and click on file, open data folder, or I go to the meter trader, click on file, open data folder. It's ex uh, exactly the same. So I can also do it in the meta editor. So if I click on open data folder, I will find this folder again, I click on MQL5 again, click on experts again, then I go to the desktop where I find this file here and now I use the second file which is the MQ5 file. Right click, copy, then I go to the folder that I opened here, this experts folder and if I paste the code here, you can see now I have both of these files here, the EX5 and the MQ5. And if I now go back to the meta editor, you will see, usually you do not have to refresh anything here and you will see the moving average direction strategy dot MQ5 here. And I can double click it and it will show me the source code of this program. So you can see everything here. Like for example, the input variables that I showed you before and that are defined by the programmer. So now we have the source code and the executable. And again, the source code is only necessary if you want to change anything in the program. And if you have the EX5 file, you can use it. So you do not need the source code. You only need the source code if you want to change anything. Also, there might be a one last case if you have the source code, but not the executable. And I can show you what to do in this case. So let me delete the files again from this experts folder. So you can see if I now refresh this, we no longer see this moving average program here. Also in the meta editor, the source code is no longer available. And what you can do if you only have the source code is the following. So let's assume you only have a MQ5 file, then you can just copy it again, go to the meta editor, click on file, open data folder, MQL5, experts, and you just paste it here. So now you can see the moving average direction strategies here again as a source code file, 
but we do not see it here as a executable. So we are not able to use it in a chart. This is why we have to go to the MetaTrader 5. We have to open this moving average direction strategy MQ5. And then we have to click on compile here in this um, toolbar. So if I click on compile, you can see there are some things happening down here in this uh, toolbox. And you can see that the code is generated, which kind of means that it creates the executable from this MQ5. And if we now go back to the MetaTrader 5, and if we refresh it now, you can see now the, mod, uh, the moving average direction strategy is here. So now we can use it. And if we have a look at the experts folder again, we can see that now we have the executable file here. So this is how you can turn a source code file to a executable file by compiling it. And yeah, and this is how you can activate the um, program then on the chart again, just drag and drop it on the chart, make uh, choose the settings that you want to use, make sure that you tick this algo trading button here, and then you click on OK. And yeah, do not forget to turn on this algo trading. So if you if everything is turned on correctly and working, you should see this blue little head here and the name of the strategy or expert advisor in the chart. Also, if, you're any, if you have any problems with your expert advisor and if it's not behaving in the way that you want it to behave, it is always a good idea to have a look at this expert's journal here down in the toolbox of your MetaTrader 5 because here you can often find error messages or something that will help you to understand the expert advisor. Okay, so there's only one last thing left that I want to do here. I want to explain how you can use a expert advisor that you purchased in the MQL5 market or that you just want to use as a demo. So you maybe know this mql5.com webpage where you can find the most used expert advisors and um, yeah, you can see them, for example, this Rio MT5EA. I mean, I don't know this program, I never tested it, but you can see um, there are a lot of programs and you can buy them and you can also use a free demo. I could click on this here already, but I want to do it in my MetaTrader 5. So I will show you how to use a program, for example, this Rio.MT5 uh, in the MetaTrader 5. So let's go back to the MetaTrader 5. And if we have a look at this um, uh, navigator again in the MetaTrader 5, we will see that we, will, uh, that we have this market here also. So we can click on this market in the navigator and then click on expert and just double click it, it will open a new window for us. And you can see here we will find the same EAs that we see on the web page here, which means that we can use all of them here. And if you do not see your program here right away, you can also search for it. For example, if you search for range breakout, you will find this range breakout EA. Um, so you, you can just search for any program. And if you do not find this or if you do not see this search window, it's probably because your window here is too small and then it might disappear or something. So just make sure that your market um, uh, window here is big enough so you can see all the, all the years. So I want to use this Rio MT5, as I said. So I will find it here, it's Rio MT5, and I can now click on it and I will see this sub page um, specifically for this Rio, .mt or Rio MT5 program. Now I could buy it here or I could download the free demo. I will download the free demo in a second. But first of all, if you do not get to this point or if you do not see these buttons or if you're not able to buy or um, download anything, you will have to log in to your MQL5 account first. This is something that I did already. But if you if you don't have a MQL5 account yet, you can just create it here with a few clicks or you do it on the web page and then you just create your account here. It's for free. Like having the account is for free. You just have to define a username and a password and then you can use it. Okay, so once you found the program that you want to use, you can either buy it again or you first of all download the demo and I always recommend to download the demo first. So this is what I will do now is I will click on download demo and you can see here this is done already. So I now see this um, Rio MT5 program in my expert advisors list. So you can see here again, this is the expert advisors folder 
And now in this first subfolder, which is market, I will now find this Rio dot, uh, or Rio MT5 program. So now I can close the market here and I could use this program in a chart. In this case, it is not, uh, I'm not able to activate it because this is just a demo version. In this case, I can only use it in the strategy tester. So to use a program in the strategy tester, you have to open the strategy tester. So click on view. Let me close the toolbox first. Click on view strategy tester. And here you can click on visualize, for example, then click on experts. Choose the expert that you want to test. And here you will also find the market experts like this Rio.mt5. And then the rest is kind of the same. You will have this inputs tab. You can define the inputs. Then you have, um, you can define the period that you want to test, maybe just the current year. And then you click on start in the lower right corner. And this will run the expert advisor or the demo version of this program on historical data and show you how this program would have behaved in the, uh, in the last few months, years or whatever. Okay, so this is how you can run a expert advisor if you have the executable, if you have the source code or if you want to use it from the MQL5 platform. Also for the EAs of the MQL5 platform, you cannot access the source code. You usually just get a license to use the program. And if you want to access the source code, you will have to ask the salesperson or the developer if you can get the source code. But yeah, I mean, in 99%, you will not get the source code because it wouldn't make sense for them to share it. So um, I hope that you liked this video. If you have any questions about how to run or activate AEA, just leave a comment below and I will answer your questions in the comment section if it is about uh, running or activating a expert advisor. So thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful for some, some of you who just started to work with expert advisors. And um, yeah, we will see each other in the next video. Until then, have a great time and good trades. Bye-bye.